Now, another way to create a workflow, the one that's a little more customizable, would be to build one. And to do that, you would have to use something called SharePoint Designer. It's a utility that you can add on, download, and work with. But what I'm going to do here to demonstrate that is I have this list called the Project Status Report. And in this report are status comments. And I want that to appear uh, in another list so that when I look at the reporting, it will also include the latest comments from the latest report. So I have another list in this site that's called the project statement. And at the bottom of the project statement here is this project status comments. Now, I don't want to put it in two places. I'd rather it would come from the report. So we're going to build a workflow here. And in that workflow, we're going to do two things. We're going to notify somebody that, it, that the new status report has been created. And two, we're going to update the project statement with some of the content from that report. So to do that, I need to open this list in SharePoint Designer. Now, there is a link in the list toolbar right here, edit the list in SharePoint Designer. And if you have SharePoint Designer installed, you can use this to link to it. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And it is opening right now. And here it is. Let it open the site here very briefly. OK. So here I've opened the list, and I'm going to create a workflow here. So over here in the workflow section for this list, the project status report, I'm going to click New, which will create a new list workflow. We'll give it a name. So this is, we'll call this uh, project status update. And you can give it a description you want. And then depending on the version of SharePoint you have and what version of the workflow engine is involved, installed and working, it'll either be the SharePoint 2010 workflow or the 2013 workflow. In this case, 2010 has been activated, even though this is a SharePoint 2013 environment. So I start this. And it brings up uh, the workflow editor. So first is that we want to uh, notify uh, management. OK. And then I'm going to add a, uh, this is where you build out a workflow. And you have tools to do that. You have actions. You have steps. You have conditions. We're going to add a second step that's going to be uh, update project statement. OK. So very simple workflow. In the first section, I want to notify somebody. So I need an action to do that. And here are the actions that you can use. There are core actions. Add a comment, do this, do that. One that we're interested in is we want to send an email out to somebody. So we're going to use that, that particular action here. So I set the email up, email to these users. And it could be a SharePoint group. Or it could be an individual. I'm going to pick an individual. I'll pick myself again. So I can, that would be who it goes to. I could CC somebody. And then the subject would be new project status four. And here's where you can even pull in information from the site so that it's dynamic. I want to go in from the project statement list. I'm going to pull in the title of the project, which is project ID. You need to know the, na the column names that you're working with. They're all here, so you should know what's in them. And then I, I'm going to pull it forward. There's only one record in this list, so I just need to know what record number that is, what ID number it is, and it's number one. So in this case, from the project statement, I want the project ID pulled into the subject here where that record is equal to 1. And there it is. 
So I put that, that moved it uh, to the beginning of that. So the subject is project ID number, uh, you know, project title. I could also do it this way, project status for, and I'll just do that. Okay. Next, I put in my message, a new project status report has been saved for this project. And then I could add, I, again, I could add more content and a lookup um, if I want to, but let's just leave it simply like that. Step two, so now this will send an email to me. Step two is I want to update the project statement from this, this item. So again, I'm going to pick an action and it's a list action and I want to update a list item. That's one of the actions you can take. And I have to choose the list I want. So I want to update the project statement and the field I want to update is the project status comments to the value of, and this is where you pull from the current status report, the current item, Again, the status comments as a string. And again, I have to tell it what's, what line item in the project statement I'm going to use. And, and again, it's the very first item in there. So on the project statement, pull in the status comments where the project statement ID is equal to one. So there's my workflow, and that's all I have to do. And then after that, I would uh, want to end the workflow. So I'm going to stop the workflow. And you can even log a message, workflow completed. OK. So we have that done. We can check it for errors. And if there are no errors, great. And then we can save it. And we can publish it. It's got to be published for it to work within the list itself, the list or library. All right, very simple, two commands. We're done with that. And now there is a workflow on here. And I'm going to create a new status report. And this is a uh, unique bright work type of list that pulls in information from elsewhere in the site. The title, it pulls in the current finish date, the percent complete, the uh, previous status comments, and the previous work planned. So let's see. This project is, is in process. In, there are no issues. Work completed was DENF, and then if I was going to say work uh, work planned, G H and I. It also shows how many overdue tasks, how many overdue tasks, some other information. That all gets captured in that. But when I save it. It's going to take my status comments and put it into the project statement. And to make sure that happened, there was one other setting that I, I needed to do, and that was I needed to set this to run when a new item is created. But since I didn't do that, I'm just going to start the workflow right now. Okay, workflow is done. It says it's completed. And now if I open up the statement, we should see this comment in the statement now. And we do. It's right here. Now, because we wanted this for roll-up reporting, I'm going to navigate up to the next level, which is the project office. 
And we're going to take a look at how that's being used in a roll-up report of all projects. So here I am. This is an office site in Brightwork that summarizes and rolls up information from all the project sites beneath it. And I go over to this report here called All Project Summaries. And in here, we're getting basic information, the key indicators, the title, the the uh, project manager, the dates, the progress, and over here, the latest status comments that are coming from the latest status report. So this is how we're connecting, uh, putting information in one place and having a workflow take it and put it elsewhere so that it's available in the reporting for people to see and collaborate with. 